Ten years ago, a school district in rural York County was thrust into the national spotlight as it grappled with issues of science, religion, and education in a U.S. federal court case. The trial involving Dover Area School District is a significant part of a long series of legal challenges regarding what is fit to teach in America's public school science classrooms. Typically, these cases were framed as religion versus science. There was little doubt that religious views drove the opposition to evolution's place in the classroom. Dover's case was different. Instead of suggesting a religious theory or questioning evolution without providing an alternative, Dover wanted teachers to read a statement in ninth grade biology class that said evolution was not a fact. The statement would introduce an alternative to evolution called intelligent design. Intelligent design is the idea that life is too complex to have evolved without a guiding hand. Proponents don't say who or what the designer might be. It was, one Dover board member said, simply a matter of academic freedom. A federal judge disagreed. U.S. District Judge John E. Jones III said that a supernatural explanation for life is inherently unscientific and has no place in a public school science classroom. He also ruled that intelligent design had religious roots, saying it was simply creationism relabeled. Introducing it in a public school class, Jones said, would violate the U.S. Constitution's separation of church and state. That was a big deal in 2005 and still is today. The ruling that barred intelligent design from Dover's science classes narrowed the legal options for evolution's detractors. There have been court cases since 2005 that dealt with evolution in the classroom, but in the last decade, there has been no case on the issue as significant as Dover's.